Alrighty, uh, welcome back. This is episode two of the Dokkan Zero to Hero series. Um, recording this one a little bit sooner than I had anticipated. Uh, this is basically right after the first episode aired as a premiere, and wow, <laughs> let me just say, uh, before we get into everything, the support on the first episode was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, numbers that that video did numbers that I was completely not ready for and I'm so glad that there is demand for this series So we're gonna be hopping right back into it now If you guys remember where we left off on the last episode We were working on the board and we were working on the greatest warriors board and you can see right here We have gotten done the third one. I did do a little off-screen grinding <laughs> Nothing that you guys would like, you know need to see visually, but I can tell you what it was Essentially what we did was the free-to-play Ginyu Force team just so we have a team that we can do Quest mode with that we can do Dokkan event that's with stuff like that that I explained in the beginner's guide right your first team this is the one you want to do uh, maybe I'll go back and do team Bardock I haven't decided yet but at some point it will get done now I need to go ahead and show you two things very quickly with some stuff that we had to um, redeem in the uh, in between these last two videos so let me go ahead and show you that now okay so the first thing is who we selected with the redstone I forgot to do this in the last video, but you guys can see here, here's who we are going with. We are going with Physical Vegito Blue. Now you might be asking, why did we do that? We are doing that simply because we need to focus on his additional, his leader skill, accepting what's in the, in the gift box, his additionals, his counters, the damage that he's going to be able to put out is going to help us in events where we need to use a non-Ginyu Force team. And all in all, I just thought that that was going to be the best options for us. So that is the first thing I need to show you. Let's move on to the other one. The second thing I need to show you is the 10 ticket multi. This would usually be 30, but uh, this was a couple SSRs. Now, uh, spoiler alert, we don't really get anything in this, but I need to show you it anyway. Uh, and this will be essentially catch you up to where we are now. And that is going to be showing you guys the Ginyu Force team. Again, we don't really get anything in this specific multi summon, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> again, for the record, I need to make sure that it is shown and then we can go ahead and get into the next step. You can see here, it's a whole lot of nonsense. I thought it was going to be a 10 unit multi, but turns out it is still 30. Uh, reading is hard, but you can see one of the SSRs we got was Android 17, and then the other one was Coolisa. So like, potentially if we want to do Wicked Bloodline, Terrifying Conquerors, Extreme STR, we have an option now, right? So that is at least good, but there we go. Those are the two things that you needed to see in advance. Let's go back to the current day. Okay, so getting into the fun, let's go ahead and accept these mission rewards from the board. And we are now going to be granted with, let's see, I forget what these are, 10 Dragon Stones, woo! And now we have quest mode, challenge events, world tournament. We're not worried about world tournament right now, but we have it. And now we have stage four of the board. So you can see we've already done rank 50, that helps. We're going to get the 300 stamina. Nice, we need to collect the Dragon Balls. We need to use a support memory. <laughs> we need to level up this Goku. We have to do a lot of different things. So I think what, what I wanna focus on in today's episode is finishing up this specific board. We'll go from each one. Um, and then we will kind of go ahead from there. But one thing we need to do before we do that is go to the missions tab and accept all this stuff. So you can see that we have a lot of missions to accept. Uh, these, this is all stuff that I did from the Ginyu Force grind and all of that fun stuff. So we have 68 missions here from the Corn tab. You can see this is for log in, training, stamina, all of those basic little things. Let's go ahead and hit accept all on this and hopefully it doesn't do both of the pages, but it might. No, I believe this is just from the Corns tab. We have 21 stones, so boom, there we go. And now we have 59 missions to get from here. Now we have, let's see, 10 tickets for the anniversary countdown. We'll go ahead and grab those. We are going to be going to the Goku Gohan Goten Day missions, and we're gonna go ahead and grab these as well. And this is also going to give us access to some units. So we will be picking a unit in a moment. We have the special missions for these. I believe it's more tickets. How many is this? It's six tickets. I don't know if we can do anything with that. We have missions for the Emperor's Domination. I guess that's the Frieza Saga campaign missions. And we also have some more stuff. We can go ahead and scroll down. Uh, support memory things and now we have access to the oolong support memory i believe uh, we'll go to here these are rank missions this is going to give us what 38 stones very nice uh how much how much left do we have? i'm just gonna hit accept all i don't know what they're from the 12 stones a copy of 18 extra box space some items all of that fun stuff so there we go now we've accepted all our rewards and you can see we are at a nice clean 207 stones so let's go ahead and go down the board the first thing we need to do <laughs> is uh, go collect the Dragon Balls, which is going to require Quest. So, I want to level up this character's uh, super attack level. So it's going to be this Goku. Then what we need to go do is farm up nine copies of him, but we'll also probably get more 
because we want to uh, level up his uh, hidden potential paths as well. So let's go ahead and go farm him up. We're going to go to the Dragon Ball story tab and we're going to go back to where we were in the last episode. But now that we have a full fledged team and we don't have to worry about our friends anymore uh, carrying us, we can actually farm this up a little bit more efficiently. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop right here and then we are going to change up our team a little bit. Um, not sure how much uh, we can do in terms of bonus, but we do have some. So I guess that does help. So we'll still use Goku. We'll bring Vegito Blue. We'll bring uh, some of our Ginyu Force members because they're done. And then we'll bring, we'll get rid of Goldo. And then we'll bring Vegeta and we'll bring Omega just so we can get a little bit of extra buff. That'll give us 20%. We're going to get an extreme type lead right there. And then we are going to bring this right here to give us the support memory and it's going to help us farm up Goku. So now what you guys are going to see is us doing this while I talk. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and uh, I believe we can just auto this anyway. I'll do the first run on camera and then we will uh, cut. And then once I have all the copies that we need, we can go ahead and move on to the next topic. So quickly, this is going to help us out a decent bit because getting this version of Goku done is going to be very nice for this uh specific account because this LR Goku will technically be the best unit in our box when it's all said and done with this episode when however far we get right I don't know if we're gonna be able to Okan awaken him in this episode maybe we save that for a big one but if you want to count the big additions already we have freaking Vegito blue and we also need to go do some exchanges and then we also have a couple SSRs it's it's all coming together right this is what we were working for and now we are going to be seeing the fruits of our training if you will so here we go. Nice. No character drop. Did I even go to the right stage? I hope I did. I probably did, right? I'm not that dumb. Um, let me make sure. I believe it's the Saiyans arrive. I'm gonna feel like a silly head if I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, this this is probably gonna take a bit because I don't have a very good bonus team yet. But uh, let's go ahead and see which one we got. It's stage six, right? Yeah. So however long this takes, uh, we will be back when we have enough copies. Let me so I, I hope to see you guys there. I ain't even gonna lie, farming with uh with that team was not the move. I've been here for like what 20, 30 minutes, and I only got like two copies. So uh, we cheated a little bit. We uh, we had some copies. We had an SSR, and then I used some sleeping guys. So yeah, I committed a taboo, but <laughs> I'd rather get to recording this video. So we're gonna move on from that. Uh, we used the support memory. We did that, and now it's time to get the super attack level, and then now what do we need to do? We need to clear a Dokkan event and use a support item. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find, this is this is the little cheat code for this, right? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the attempt tab, and the game needs to load, uh, whenever it wants to do that. And then we are gonna go over here, and we're gonna play this on normal, just to save us some time. And then we are going to bring Let's bring something we're not going to use. Let's bring a Dende, because we don't really use uh, Dende items in the end game at all, so we don't really need those. So that's what we'll use to clear this portion out, and we should be good to go. Uh, this being on five stamina, I don't remember uh, how many phases this is going to be. Hopefully it's just Uno, but uh, we shall see. That is what we like to call a fact of life. So let's see. Boom, bam, bop. This, this is going to be a movie. So here we're going to do, we're going to pop this. That's one mission down. And then this is going to be the second mission down. And then after this, we get to play some quest. Are you guys excited? I know I'm excited. If you've been excited for this video, leave a like. Let's try and hit 100 on this one. How about that? The next episode, 100 likes. That's going to be the rule. Not the rule, but that's what we're going to go for this one. Because last time I said 50, we got 500. Let's get 100 and go for 1,000. How's that sound? <laughs> So there we go. Now we have the Dokkan event done, and we also have the clear a stage with a support item. So that is going to be good. All well and dandy. Two more missions done. Probably a third mission somewhere else where it's nonsense, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, two missions there. Two missions there. Now we need to go worry about the quest mode. So we have to wish with the Dragon Balls. You can see we have five. This is going to be... Uh, we need to go to quest, right? Do we actually have this already? We do. How many of these do we have? We can just play all these chapters. I didn't know you could do that. I, that's not how it used to be. <laughs> I guess they must have overhauled that completely. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to collect all seven Dragon Balls. Let's uh, actually stay live for this. So we need to go to the ultimate life form, malicious android cell, normal and above. So to get the three stones, we're going to do this. And then we are going to turn off the auto map, but we will auto battle because we need to save a number. When you're going for a Dragon Ball, you need to find the Dragon Ball and then identify the number that you need to keep. So what were we looking at right there? Yeah, 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 I get it. So we need to keep that two because when we're done, we're going to have to use that two to get the Dragon Ball. 
go. Let's use the four right here. I'm assuming I'm going to test this and see where the Nimbus takes us. Hopefully it lets us skip all the nonsense, but I doubt it's going to. This is probably going to toss us right back to the a stop sign. Uh, no, it didn't actually. Okay, I'm actually going to try and skip that fight, but I have a plan, so don't worry. Yes, perfect. See, you see how I big brain that? Because we, we don't have a two, but we have two ones. So we're going to be good to go, and we're going to be able to collect this Dragon Ball and be able to move on to the next stage of the port. So here we go. Uh, we can just auto this. The Ginyu Force team will take care of this no problem. Uh, I guess the the main LR Ginyu being a little bit low in level could be a tad problematic, but we'll see. I, I can't imagine this to the point where we lose the fight or anything like that. But I guess we'll see, right? Yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> one additional normal, and this is a one-turner. Uh, we got it. Oh, it's an additional super. Okay, there you go, Ginyu. Good stuff, buddy. Boom. All right, now, Birder, uh, take care of business for me, partner, and we're going to be able to wish upon the dragon very soon. So, bang. There we go. And that. So now, what we need to do is lock in and make sure if uh, either we get a two right here and we get lucky, or we're going to have to use both of the ones. It doesn't really make a difference. So, you're seeing we're going to be link leveling our Ginyu team as we go, which is all fine and dandy. But now, we grab ourselves the one-star Dragon Ball, and now we only need one more, and then we can wish upon, a dra wish upon the dragon. Now, some of you are probably thinking I'm going to take the 10 stones, but no, no, nay, nay. We are not going to be doing that. You'll need to stay tuned to see what we're going to be wishing for. So there we go. We got three stones. We didn't get how many of the Supreme Trial time time. Wow. Supreme Kai Trial did we get two? Perfect. So now we need to go get the was that the five star ball? So we want to go back here. We want to go over to this, collect all the Dragon Balls attempt. We want to go right here. Uh, we want to go to Pursuing Mercenary Tau. We want to go to Z-Hard again. Use the same team that we were using. And now we need to see what do we need to keep. Uh, we need to keep... We're probably going to have to do two fights here, right? Yes. So we need to keep that three. All right. We're going to take a little damage. We're going to have to do a, a mini boss fight, but that's okay. Uh, I am completely fine with that if it means that we get this Dragon Ball out of the way and we can move on with the non-nonsense, <laughs> non non right? Because soon... Probably what we'll do when this episode is over is just play the quest mode, right? Like use this Ginyu team, put everything on auto, which we can obviously do, and we'll be good to go. Uh, we'll have to, we'll be able to use a team that can farm gems and stuff like that at some point. And we're going to be making some decent progress on this account, I think, sooner than you guys might expect, which is really cool. And before you know it, we're going to have a nice functional Dokkan account that we're going to be able to use in all different aspects, right? One of the end game goals, no pun intended, is to get to the end game with this account, but we'll have to see, right? As long as you guys keep showing the support and I'm recording this like all the time, like it, it before you know it, we're going to be smacking up the red zone. You know what I mean? Uh, Baba, no, I'm not interested with your little casino. Uh, playing a gotcha game, but I don't want the casino, huh? So boom, we got another three. Nice. So now we can use this next three, get the Dragon Ball and move on to the next portion. And then we have to play one more stage of quest, which um, do I want to record that? No, I think what we'll do is we'll wish upon the dragon, do the wish, and then I'll go clear off the board off camera because I don't think you guys need to watch that. It's just me clearing another quest stage, right? You're not going to miss anything. All right, so boom, there we go. 445,000, all of that fun stuff for the damage. Nice, nice, nice. And we should be good to go. So three, grab the dragon ball. Nice. And then we will go ahead and go with that. So now we have all seven of the dragon balls, which is what we're looking for. We're going to be able to do the wish and what we are going to be wishing for it's going to be a movie so i hope you guys are excited so without further ado and a little editing magic we're going to cut to the wish of the dragon so see you guys over there Alrighty, so we're back it's time to summon shenron here we go the you who have gathered seven of the dragon ball state your wish is that what he says we're going to find out i think that's what he says Oh, am I going to nail this? You have gathered the seven Dragon Balls. Oh, I'm so good. Holy shit, dude. All right, so state my wish. What do I want? I want a bunch of items. No, I want help in battle. Expand quest inventory and item limit. What I want is to be able to use uh, all of the items or use two, eight items within a fight. And that is what we are going to do. And we're also going to be getting item inventory space. So that is what we went with for the wish. Uh, let's go ahead and do that last quest mode stage. And then we'll be right back. Okay, so we have now done all of the fun stuff for the fourth forward. We cleared the quest, all of that great stuff. So let's go ahead and accept all these. And now we, we have nine of the copies because why wouldn't we? That's actually going to work out very nice for what we're trying to do. 
but we can go ahead and hit accept. We can hit okay again, and we got more of the copies. Extreme Z battles. Honestly, I'm kind of like cool that I did the, I, I cheated a little bit, because now, here we go. Nice, nice. We're gonna be, actually be able to do a lot of this right now, because we don't need to do a ton of stuff, right? I know that sounded like a bit of a whole lot of nothing, but here's what we need to do, right? So let's go ahead and go to here, and we have to go to this Goku. Where's our Goku that's like leveled up? Right here, and we need to re-reverse, we need to unreverse the Dokkan Awakening. So if you guys don't know how to do that, you go to growth, you go to reverse Dokkan Awakening, and then we reverse, we reverse the reverse of the Dokkan Awakening. So now we have him back to where we need to be, and we want to go to his hidden potential system. Now the game is generous and gives you all of the duplicates that you're going to need, and you're going to be able to unlock all these pads, and you already have the hidden potential orbs unlocked as well. So that is going to help us out greatly. And you see we have a bunch of copies as is too, so we can go boom, we can go bam, and honestly, we're gonna be able to farm up another copy pretty easily uh, in order to get his SA hot up to a high level. So what do we need to do now? Uh, we're going to go to the nodes and prioritize dodge. I'm sure most of you know at this point, uh, characters like this, it's a free to play unit that's not going to be doing a ton of damage. So what we're going to want to do is give him as much dodge as possible because that is his only defensive utility <laughs> that he really can have is a chance to uh, evade attacks. So you can see right there, we have 15 dodge, uh, what is that, six additional, and then we're going to go for the type defensive boost, so that way when he's up against in enemies, he's going to be even stronger. And now we have officially rainbowed version Z Goku. Now that we've done that, we're going to be able to equip a skill orb on him. Do we have any skill orbs? We do not, but no need to worry. What we are going to do is go over to the other stage of the mission or the other mission board right here. We're going to go to clear in here. And this is what is known as the Whis event. They did revamp this and make it much more expensive on our stamina, which kind of sucks, but at least it's fast. Um, <laughs> do we have to play this one manually? Probably because it's the first time. Yes, us first timers around here. We got to go ahead and play this one manually, which is not bad. Whatever skill orb we get, we are going to be putting on this Goku. So we're going to do uh, Let's do this because uh, this Ginyu is, he doesn't have SA yet. We haven't really worked on that. Uh, we will at some point, but not right now. It's just a little too early on in the game for us to be worrying about stuff like that. So there we go, Six, 630,000 should be enough to take out Whis. Yes, perfect. So now we have a skill orb. It's going to be a gold one because of course it is. Get our link levels, all that fun stuff. At least we already did some of that. Um, I think you guys are in for a little bit of a laugh here in a minute when we, uh, we do the next portion of this. So boom, let's grab that. And now what we need to do, uh, it's a level five crit. Okay, cool. So we'll take that. We'll definitely, definitely take that. So we go boom. How many times can I say we go boom? I'm like train go boom. If you get it, you get it. Uh, there we go. Let's equip our EX skill orb. So now we have that. Uh, that's going to help us out a decent bit with our missions. And now I believe we have to clear stage one of Pan's secret adventure. Shout out to Pan. We, uh, maximum stamina is uh, insufficient. We can't do, st okay. We have to do this one on hard, uh, because we do not have Z heart yet. Uh, we don't have 80 stamina yet because we haven't me reached that rank threshold. So that is why you're probably like, why can't he do it? That's why. So what we're going to do is grab these. And then w with the pan secret adventure, we just have to tap a bunch of orbs and we should be good to go. Now, the fun part of this video, I'm sure some of you guys are thinking you saw it on the bottom. We have to win an extreme Z battle. Now, which one you might be asking, I'm thinking um, we go to the Destined Rival Saga, I believe it's called, or something like that. You'll see which one we're going to because the Ginyu Force is boosted in it. So what we're hoping for is that we get uh, the AGL Captain Ginyu in slot one, and then he just goes to work. That's kind of what we're going to do to win an Extreme Z battle. Uh, because <laughs> you, you guys will see what I mean when we get there. But there we go. And this episode will be ending when we clear this next board out and Dokkan Awaken Goku into an LR. So that is going to be the stopping point. Uh, let's go ahead, do this, grab this, and get on out of here. So now that we've done that, we've done, I believe, everything we need to do aside from the Extreme Z battle, and we should be good to go. So now we're really cooking. Like, this is, this is, we've made some good account progression today. So this is actually going to do a decent bit for our rank. Uh, because we uh, that 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 stage does give a lot of XP. It's not the biggest uh, gain of XP because we can eventually do this on with 100 stamina, but we're nowhere near there yet. So uh, we're gonna do that. Now we need to go back and do an extreme Z battle. Uh, I'm looking for one in specific. Um, it's which one is it? It's one with like uh, Super Saiyan 2. It's this one right here, I believe. If we go right here, we go here, and then I believe the Ginyu Force is boosted for this one. Uh, yes, so there you guys can see. This is going to help us clear out stage one very easily. Uh, we're fighting Fusion Android 13. 
Uh, let's turn off auto mode just so I can set up the rotation properly. Uh, and we did get the friend Ginyu in the front, so he's going to take care of business and we are going to be good to go. And we are going to be able to find a good stopping point for Dokkan Awakening, our LR version Z Goku. So the second LR that we've obtained on this account is going to be coming home, and that's going to be a phenomenal stopping point. So the last two things we need to do, we need to awaken Goku, and we also need to select some units from the uh, the Book of War exchange, which you guys will be seeing in just a moment. So there we go. Now the fun begins. So I think the first thing we'll do is do the Book of War, and then we'll end it on the uh, the almighty, um, shout out to Yuha Baha, the almighty... Um, <laughs> LR uh, Awakening. So boom, now we want to go over to Exchange and we want to go for the Book of War. Or the, Sun, the yeah, the Book of War for the Sun family. So the characters I'm going to be selecting, um, who do I want to get? I'm thinking we go Int God Goku, because I like Int God Goku. And then for the other unit, we're going to go... Hmm... I'm going to go with this Angel Super Saiyan 2 Goku because he has Orb Changing Utility. So those are going to be the two characters that we select with our free items. We already did the Redstone. And now we are going to accept all of our greatest warrior boards. And now we get to do the last part of the uh, the fun. So here we go. Gears Guide, Peton Battle, and the Portal of Memories. Mission complete. And we have now done this. Now we are going to be able to go ahead and go over here and officially awaken our version Z Goku. So that's going to be the stopping point for episode two of the Zero to Hero series. Every video is not going to be like... <laughs> The same thing, I promise you. It's not just going to be clearing out boards and stuff like that. We are going to start to have some fun, but that is going to be where we call it for this video. So let me know what you guys thought. I hope you had a good time watching this. I had a fun time recording it. We now have version Z Goku finished. I'll worry about the super attack later. And we also have finished up the free to play Ginyu Force team. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, 100 likes for part three, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.